Welcome, ladies and gentlemen, to another episode of uh, Steel Division. Anyway, this is a 2v2, just online for fun. Um, you know, the new update and everything, so I just wanted to kind of test it out again. I'm a Maverick. You know, I'm running, uh, I thought Vanguard isn't get good anymore, so I converted to Maverick. I'm playing third guard Senkovi, playing with Ornord, I think that's how you say it. I'm sorry if I'm saying it wrong. He's playing 43rd. Um, our opponents, you know, Ted, playing Panzer. Uh, I'm not gonna be able to say it. And then Fishy playing 11th SS Panzer Grenadier Nordland. Um, we're on the left, so my plan here is I'm gonna be deploying on the southern flank here, and my teammates gonna be deploying on the northern flank. I'm gonna try to push along this road here. These two flags on this hill. Maybe I can make a push next. Uh, you know, like a little bit later in B phase into this location. Uh, my partner here. He's going to be pushing on this location. He's going to try to take this flag, I think this flag, but he's the balance. So he's going to play a little more passive. Than I think I will. He's, he knows that just because he needs to, uh, you know, he just has to survive to C phase and he's going to absolutely be uh, a dominating power on the, on the field. You know, everyone else running Maverick as well. So we have the long game advantage. My deck has a lot of sustain. They don't have as much. We have no Ted up here. He's going to be deployed they're going to be deployed a little bit more over on top of each other a little bit more separate from our side um you're going to be seeing that they're going to be like all over each other uh in all these areas fast forward a little bit while we're deploying stuff yes communicating and they're communicating yeah so you can see that they have a mix of troops between each other on, on multiple fronts I think no, yeah, I can't really tell who's on what position, in fact. Kind of just all over each other. The one benefit of doing that is you can kind of double an area and do some real damage. But, you know, downside is if your coordination isn't like 100% perfect, or, you know, your, your micro is also having to be across the whole map, it can definitely reduce your ability to react to certain things. It can be kind of damaging. That's why I always prefer to, you know, play separate and then help each other as needed, rather than coordinate a push like that. That's just me. You know, the real, other good teams do some really good moves with the strategy. Yeah, look, it's just a mix of all players. Oh, we'll pause while the game actually is going. You can see my deployment, some fourth flamethrowers. You can always rush this position with your flamethrowers before the enemy guy and the blue team can get there. It's, uh, you know, good thing to know. Rushing just some tons of infantry, different types of infantry, you know, Gravardi, Sapiri, sometimes Aniki. I have five Shermans, and they're just going to drive down this side of the road. I have two DP. This is my entire force. Um, my partner here going a little more defensive in center, a little more defensive in here, but still pushing. T3045, T3045. The mortars and a lot of infantry in ET going up here, obviously. Location. Similarly, they're all over each other up here. Definitely going to be a huge push. Uh, armor cars for days, Pumas for days, uh, Panzer two for days. These things are actually pretty fast. On road, 60 kilometers, pretty good. Uh, like, uh, I think what's this road speed of this? So it's faster than a half track. 88, some more Panzer twos, some Panzer Grens, some infantry light here in center, a little more light on the southern flank. Definitely a lot less resources dedicated to this location. Well, uh, this thing off now. You see me immediately rushing down this road. I want to get this flag. I just want to lock down this area, right? And I kind of want to commit the battle. Like I was kind of thinking, like I can lock this down. I want to get up here early. That the fact is, is that I mean I have these shirtmen, so I can fight in CQC. But I want to bring up the IST to kind of solidify or change the engagement to long range engagements, like in this location or on this location, rather than fighting on a really close area, like tight area. Now I want to fight in that CQC. Not, not fun when you have the heavy tanks, and we both have IST's. EST 3045s, I believe, for his standard, standard tank. I have Shermans. To increase the price, 80 points, so you gotta be a little more careful. I keep flying really aggressive my Shermans because I'm so used to them being kind of cheap. But, um, yeah. Seeing, uh, it looks like on this deployment down here, we see Fishy bringing an MG, but for the most part, no is down here. No Ted. I get my flamethrowers in this location, no problem. I'm already grabbing the flag. My teammate up here already grabbing this flag, but reacting already. A lot of action's gonna go down. I'm gonna lose a squad. Well, not really, I guess. We got loads. 
Heavy 42's got a good spot. Looking down, looking down this main road. Got a whole bunch of stuff here. Plane third, unfortunately. Get the pack 40 right off the bat. Going down. Just disappointing to him. If Sherman waves about to <laughs> run into his uh, all of his all of his equipment. Uh, this is not the guy. Yeah, it gets popped. One MG squad down. Another guy has a lot of points gone. Loses another infantry squad up here. A lot of action going up on here. We're seeing a Falkenwolf A8 coming in already. One of the best aircraft in the game. Seems annihilate. Coming in for turn. IL-2. Ooh. But the brush is going in. It's working. Everything's suppressed. The Panzer twos are going down the main road. Reaction now. Right off the bat, we're seeing some T-34s come into the action. AD coming into support. Um, meanwhile, up here, I am cleaning up this location. You know, there's not that much here, to be frank. You know, we're seeing see some reinforcements come in right now. Some Jag Panzers. That's good penetration. They're only 40 points. They're pretty cheap. They're half the price of these Shermans. T-3045. Stemming the tide. Misses the shot. A little suppressed. Luckily, he's able. there's not really any other tanks in here. I bring out my Yak-9 to help support. Unfortunately, gets impressed by the 88. Really smart for them to bring that up. My Falkenwolf is going to turn into me, it looks like. And yeah, it doesn't look good. The Falkenwolf being stupid. Will he turn into me? Probably not. He's being dumb. Push was uh, halted though on this side. We are down on this location by two flags. But we're about to go up another flag on this area. And Mavericks when we get picked up. And C phase when we also pick up. So not, you know, not ideal right now for the enemy. But it is the only three minutes of the game. Just moving up here now. Sherman's going to keep flanking with... Rezek guys and some CQC. I want to get in this location, lock down the fact that they have some really good tanks, the Panthers, and that's that's the objective here. Seeing a wave of stuff come now for both players. We got two stugs from Fishy, kind of relieving the pressure up here, making them kind of forced to spend points here, which is, is good. We were talking right here at this point. I was saying, that, hey, there's a lot of units coming down this road. We got Panthers, stugs, the point, stuff that I thought. Because at this point, I thought I was only fighting No Ted down here. And I didn't realize that he had also sent a whole bunch of forces north. So, you know, I told him about it. And now you can see that there isn't many things coming up here to solidify the push. It's letting uh, it's my teammate here just push back into this location. Really great. We're about to have a little standoff here. Unfortunately, through these Yagpanzers, they have to face Shermans. <laughs> they bounce one of the shots. Fire. One goes down. No tanks died yet. Gets one of my MCHAs. That's, you know, if he gets one more M chite, they favor themselves. Loses another one, though. Gets a pen. And I got fires. Bam. Goes down. There's a panther here. These guys are getting in a bad spot. Panthers can't see me yet, though. They're around the corner. But all the uh, MGs and 50 cows annihilated these infantry, making them back off. I said I'm going to start pushing down this road. I have an amateur coming here. I kind of just forgot, like, we're not 2k range. Back 40 is going to annihilate me. It's a pen right off the bat. Look at that. Trying to push back up here. Backing up. Like, oh no, no, I know, I know, I know. Coming, it's coming, it's coming. Misses. Gonna get one more shot in. And there goes 80 points worth of equipment. GT coming in around. I sent my fighter out. Nothing too much going on there. I'm setting up some reinforcement troops just to solidify some bazooka troops to stop any heavy tanks from moving up. You can see that he's going in for a rush though. No infantry really. I mean there's the guys. Maybe they'll be unsuppressed. Uh, Yak-9 going in. Yak-9 doing nothing as normal. Unfortunately, I used 100, lose 100 points there to the Falka Wolf. But teammate taking a flag. We're going up now. We got the double tick. Got the double tick and we got a balance. So it's really good for us. We're in a really good position. Kind of put them in a really hard spot. Can't really move up with his Panthers and stuff. He'll lose a lot of equipment if he does so. so it's a little slow. We, we slow down a little bit. There's a lot of air action going on. Fortunately, IL-2 going down. 75 points. Seeing a G2 come in. Getting a nice kill on that tank. 88's helping out. Suppresses instantly. Two T-34s. 185 and one just normal uh, 43. Moving down the main road, cutting him off. Trying to maneuver my yak to not get shot down by the Falka Wolf. I was like, alright, got peeled out. Fortunately, my teammate comes in for another run, gets the G2 right there, gets Rudal. Nice, we're done, the double, keeping the double tick here. Trying to see some infantry play here. 
not too much. I'm gonna shift my Shermans in the way where they can't be shot down the road, but they can uh, still shoot this location. Yeah, I'm moving up like that right now. These infantry have no chance. Moving up my Masuka guys to help support. So he moves to the Panthers. He's backing up, being really smart here. I'm Mark here. I was asking my teammate if he can get it. He can't, you know, any bombers or anything. Because once this back 40 is done, I can push. Moving up two more Emchas. I've lost I lost another Emcha. That's another 80 points. Two of them. That's pretty it's pretty brutal losing these Emchas now. Gotta be a little more cautious with them. Like I usually play really aggressive, but can't really. Orders coming in from my teammate, doing some damage. Look at the wave of dead equipment here. Just a way, look how much equipment's there. That's crazy. All those Panja little twos trying to do some damage. Yeah, so I rotate my my tanks here. I kind of thought at this point, all right, this area's locked down. He ain't, he ain't getting it. He ain't getting it. No way. So was my next push. I love this. Tail damage. He's halfway suppressed due to just some Shermans. I'm trying to get my fighter in. I got I got the same fighter coming back out to help get him out. Going in. Oh, yeah. Yeah, look at that. No damage. Oh, I did a little damage. He's smoking, but he just not goes down. Bring up some mortars to help take out this pack 40. I want to get this flag. I want to solidify. Solidify this location. I'm trying to rotate now. Bomber coming in. Really good. Getting the mortar. A good bombing from the D5. Pack 9B. Trying to do some damage. The flock looks like way up there. You can't see him, but he's like, look at that. I decided to peel out. He's too fast. I'm not getting him. Problem with the yaks. I start firing some mortar shots here. Like, why not? Get this pack 40 out of there. I got this pack 40 over here. There's one on this location. Flamethrowers were able to clear it out. Gets this flag back. We're up two flags here. Um, we're down a flag here, but not for long. It's sinking. We're up another flag. So that will give us a double tick again. Mortar fire shots coming in. To the damage. It's one good hit. Down from four to six. Oh, man. He sees this game ordered. He's rotating him. Ah, there we go. That's about it. Nothing else is happening. Kind of mortar. You can kind of see, right? This B phase. We're about to hit B phase. But everything's kind of slowed down. The action's kind of built, you know, entered into its later phase. I think we're not doing too well in the air combat. Lost a lot of aircraft. Uh, but we haven't really gained too much. We've seen another Focal of 8-8 come out. We're really talking about trying to get these things down. Don't really have any more flak on the gun. I'm just relying on my Sherman's flak. Really smart here. Bringing back his uh, AT gun just a little further back so he doesn't get caught. The warders, which I'm firing at. I change up, though. I'm like, all right, fine. You know what? I'm setting in the tanks. Set up some Kavari and Tetsuniki to hang out here. I'm setting in the Sherman's now. I'm just going to smoke him off. I'm going to get into his face, and I'm going to rush in some infantry. Yak 9B hanging out. We're getting a little bit of an air war here. My Yak 9 coming in to rotate. He can't get him because he's stupid. Just some good micro. Air micro here. I want to get one of these aircraft. I was like, all right, we got to get one. He gets in into a front on here. Nothing happens. I'm on his butt. I'm like, come on. Yak 9B. Oh, Yak 9B doesn't know how to fly. Come on, I can fly better than War Thunder. He rotates out. Thank God that this comes in, though. He gets the kill, finally. And it looks like he shot down another aircraft as well. Uh, looks like he lost two of his Falk Wolves there. It's a really good air tile. Like, that's what we needed. We weren't doing too well in the air combat. This thing's going to drop immediately. I'm sending my guys in now. We got a Panther Ray hanging out about here. Not too much action. I'm oh, sorry I'm moving around too a little too much. I'll slow it down. I'm seeing some marks by them. By me. I said I'm bringing an IS2 for my teammate. I'm going to rotate it this way. I make an air here. I meant to send it up here, but I sent it down here. And you'll see me rotate it back. Got some aircraft just hanging out for air cover. Infantry's moving up now. Help support this area. We're up 15-9. We're doing well. We're having a huge push though right now. Look at all these Panda 3Hs. Driving down this road. We got 70 penetration. They got the job done. They're pretty good. Mixed in some Panthers in there as well. He's just not going to penetrate. Probably back off right here in this location. Oh, what? He got a penetration. Oh, I, I stand corrected. I am so wrong. I get up here. Got Sneaky, you're taking out the MG. Kavari taking out the Pack 40. Fortunately, I get a little bit aggressive here. I should have rotated them back in the forest. Instead, I move up. 
try hiding in the forest here. But unfortunately, we're going to see some bombers come in. We're seeing a recon plane of the bomber. Unfortunately, I got Sherman's. He's no match for Sherman to get suppressed. Jet bomber, though. Oh, man. I cannot recommend these enough. These things are so hard to shoot down and stop. And they drop such a huge payload. Then they get out. I bring in my fighter. But he ain't getting anywhere. I tried rotating him out with a flying of shot. Block Olaf. And, but it was, Oh, but he, he just goes down to the D5. <laughs> Got a Sherman in a spot here, but it's not good. Now, okay, so this is my thing now. I sent the IS-2 down here. When we start seeing that both of them are pushing up here, so that kind of cleared me for just stop pushing this location. I have these two flags on lockdown with plus two. This area, not so important. I don't mind pulling back a little bit. He can take this flag back, but we'll, we'll meet grind up here because, like, it's okay for us to meet grind now because we, we have the later income, and I have a pretty long deck. So, all of our attention now. I'm gonna shift to the north. I like how there's still a flamethrower here. Holding down the fort. Two guys. Behind enemy lines. Look at all these tanks coming up here. You see me rotate my tank here. I'm coming back around. This tank plays key role in our survival. Look at this thing. This thing's a beast. That's a beautiful tank. Not too much. I'm bringing up some AA to just cover this area. I don't want to get bombed. And then most of my focus is going to be shifting. That's an EKA firing at a Molotov, but not going to do too much. He gets exploded. He's gone. IS-2, really good anti-air. You know, you know, Sherman's and IS-2s are great anti-air. <laughs> Goes down. <laughs> oh, man. I mean, I've heard the 50 cals are being fixed. So. <laughs> Our teammate bringing up a uh, first IS-2 as well. No, we're still getting a bomb. We're starting to see it bring out some AA from us both. Bombing coming in. Really smart here. Knows there's probably something in here keeping the flag. Bam. It's deleted. Almost fully suppressed by these 250 cals. Coming up here. Now this is the time to counterattack. Real. He doesn't have a lot of AA. Yak-9 coming in. Oh, Ally-9s hit by that. Bam, he's suppressed. Come back around. The LA-7's gonna probably shoot him down. He's gotta watch out for the Falcon Wolf. 8-8 coming on his butt, though. Everybody gets on this head-on. This is last pass. Gets him, shoots him down. It's an expensive aircraft. 125 points. Rotating out. He's rotating. Seeing him turn. This guy's also turning. He doesn't want to get in a double fight. And he rotates out. I think this... But now, here's the key part. IS-2 now. Moving up to engage. Buster coming in to get this uh, this Panther. These Panthers, you know, 150 points here. That's crazy expensive. Coming in. No way, eh? No support. We've got infantry all behind him. I dropped some heavy bombs here. And he also dropped his bombs. From my, you know, heavy bomb right here. Now, these are trying to, we're trying to rush to get these surrendered. Fortunately, he does have a Panther G and some more Panther 3 ends behind. But we do kill one of them. We do get, oh, there you go. He gets surrendered. Rush them down. This is another free kill. Seeing a wave of stuff come in. Seeing more flak come in as well. He needs to bring it up. Or he's in big trouble. IS2 moving up now. I was like, I want to try to. You want to lock down this road, right? If you can get down here, shoot down this entire location. I'm going to play a little aggressive with this IS2. I was like, oh, alright, I'm going to take the risk. I get the Panther 3N. H, sorry. Everywhere else, it becomes a stalemate. There's not going to be any more pushing, looks like. We want to, everything's being focused on this location. I can grab a lot of flags, but ideally, this is kind of a perfect spot for us. I'm bringing an IS-2. I think I'm bringing two Shermans right now. He's bringing his own IS-2. The IS-2 is going to engage these Tigers. My IS-2 is going to engage this Panther. Panther bounces a shot. IS-2 returns the favor, and he's gone. Yep, death. I don't know what it is, but like if you start moving your tank, you seem not to be able to balance and you just get instant killed. I don't know what it is. Moving up my IS-2 again, I see another Panther D. Another, I think this was Panther A, I can't tell. Whatever, I forgot. I didn't see it. <laughs> These are still 140, 150 point tanks. And this is the first shot. Gets a penetration on me. I'm like, you know what? I'm backing out. I'm not doing this. I don't want to risk the Panther. Sorry, the IS-2. That back up. 
I fire on the move <laughs> because I do heat seeking when I use it. I don't know what it is about what I do. When I have it, it just somehow heat seeks. Plus, you're coming in again on the tiger tank. Nothing stopping him. Perfect drop. It's uh, 135 points down. This thing has paid for itself plenty of times over. IS-2 though, needs to take out this tiger and we're good. I'm moving out my Rebecca here. I'm gonna try to get this Panda 3 leader. It's only 30 points, I didn't realize. Gets the kill. IS-2 just hanging out now, looking down this main road. And the Tiger E goes down. That's a lot of equipment. We've killed a couple Panthers here, killed couple of tigers that's a lot of points now they're now definitely in the negative and the income is going to be pretty brutal the next couple minutes we're about to hit c phase at this point i'm converting into a supporting role i'm bringing up some aa and bringing some infantry just to help fill in some spots but um you know well, my teammate's going to become the new offensive power now being that he has the extra income now we're seeing the secret weapon of the axis players the stuka this thing is so good it's also crewed. Oh, actually, it has a driver. Okay, okay. But the assault gun is crewed by invisible Germans, as it only should be. Also, the mobile wagon is crewed by an artificial intelligence. <laughs> I think they just don't have people. Does D5 at least have people? Yeah, okay. That's <laughs> I have my own IS2 coming in here to support. Use some free shots in these assault guns. These are 30 points. Should move him back a little bit. Get suppressed <laughs> by two. <laughs> Goes down immediately. Nice. But this is what we realize. All we're like, oh my gosh! <laughs> Look at all that flak. Yep. See, I marked it immediately. I'm like, oof. You're gonna see me bring in mortars in a second. We lose the LA7. Fortunate. And down the southern to mid. Nothing. In fact, they kind of pushed a little bit here, playing more aggressive. I'm gonna shift these mortars in a second to center. Or sorry, to the north to help support. Really good smart play here. G2 coming in. I tried doing frontal armor, but he's gonna get me. And nice, he gets a good kill there. Kills my kills our Yak 9 as well for my teammate. G2 coming around. Looks like he's gonna get away. Those G2s are crazy good. You get two cards of them. You bring them in C, you get eight of them, and they're all double vet. So they're really good. I'm bringing up some Shermans here to help clear out this area. Let my teammate know here. I'm Beacon. And everybody's the voice, uh, voice call right now. So, like, our two opponents were in another channel, and I'm in the channel of my teammates. So we're communicating. Talking about the war from now coming up. We knew they were going to come up at some point. At uh, one point. The best unit. <laughs> going to aim for the Zisk gun, not the IS-2. I was, I was, like, telling him, like, watch out. He's going for you. Move the IS-2. He's gonna get you. But luckily, he actually went for the Zisk gun. Which was super lucky. Um, so you see my ammo, you see these guys taking a little drive. That's what's so great about these motorcycles, you can redeploy them across the whole map. Man, this guy is deciding to run over everything he can. Look at, that. Look at all the damage he's causing. And now they get a speed bonus to on the road. I got to tux it in like that. It's so cool. Yeah. He starts marking them. I'm bringing up some my stuff that I need to do to kill it. We have a lot of a a uh, AA now. Trying to really get a little packed there. He's a lot of AA as well. Nothing going on down here. In fact, maybe I should have played a little more aggressive down here. But I wasn't really aware. I mean, there's still... Frank, he's got a panther. He's got two stugs here. They're 35 points. Too much price difference. A lot less infantry on the field. We've got T3045 here. My M though, unlucky. Goes down. We got Stuka firing at my AA piece. I was saddened by this. I tried moving him out of the way, but you know, they're slow. Like, please don't get a direct hit. Please don't get direct hit. That's all I was praying. And I lived that day. <laughs> a little too far. You gotta use these a little closer. 
They're ammo takers too. We're from getting ready. He's got another one up as well. Both players having a lot of rocket. Fortunately, it moves to T3045, a little too close, 100 points. Now, like, oh. Looks like he's marking it, like, hey, watch out, buddy. Oh, it doesn't matter. Plus, there's another IST coming in from me. There's this gun coming from me. We're seeing our teammate bring another IST. So we have one, two, um, three, four ISTs in the field right now. I've lost one here. To a Stuka, or the G2, sorry. Seeing some uh, jet bombers coming in here. Really good coming in on my Shermans. You want to wait to them drop the bomb load, and then you move them. Because the thing is, it anticipates where the where you're moving. So let's say you tell them where to move somewhere. When you get there, that's where the bomb's gonna hit. You want to move right after. I get lucky and I move just out of the way. They don't die. I mean, still taking some damage, but not as much damage as there's a direct hit. This one takes damage. This one takes a little less. Kind of fun. We got infantry all back here too. Still hanging out between enemy lines and cleared them out. Seeing a word from fire at our teammate, missing the target, does not get the eyes too. My mortars have arrived, and now I'm going to start laying down the pain on his AA. I suppressed him, so now he can fire. Hopefully get the kill. My ice 2 is coming up as well. Now I'm just going to give these guys orders to keep firing. Seeing the war from him, get a little too close to the open here. He's firing on our AA. He gets in though. He dropped the cluster. No, he didn't. He goes down. Doesn't kill anything, luckily. Jet bomber coming in. Big payload. Top of his IS-2. Oh, Lucky's IS-2 didn't die. I did lose my IS-2, though. I believe to one of the bombers. Jet bomber's so fast. I love that noise. Sounds like, you know, like, getting on a plane. I start mortaring his, uh, his Stukas. Like... I just give like I just give a firing order. I'm like I'm just keep firing this area. If I get the supply, I can make a move. If I get the supply there. That's huge. Getting the supply is even bigger than getting the Stuka. He's got more than one. Yeah, the D comes up here. I'm trying to back my Shermans out of the way. Unfortunately, I'm getting annihilated. I got IS2 here looking down this main road, waiting to lay down some fire. He is firing already at this tank. Sorry, at this air anti-air. I don't think I was aiming the stick at this point. I was trying to aim for the AA. I saw something fire in this direction. I'm like, just keep firing. These mortars take up really not that much ammo, so they can just keep laying down. Eat. <laughs> this guy is definitely magically loading it. <laughs> He's got like a little computer pad where he does it, even though it's World War II. He doesn't need a crew. Just see me giving order after order. I'm like, fire, fire. You can tell that's already like kind of loosened it up a little bit. You can firing on the IS too. I'm gonna try to move out of the way. You gotta have to guess: is it gonna go forward or backwards? You gotta go like get out of the way. Luckily, I think I survived this folly. I mean, he's take up a lot of ammo. That's already out of ammo. I mean, he's got another supply truck right here though. Got one of the other supply trucks. Meanwhile, nothing else. We're taking him one flag. We've got this flag back. I have two flags up here, but nothing's happening in this location. I'm just going to keep mortaring these AA guns. I want to get rid of them. Marking them for me. Br he's bringing up another IS-2 of his own. I'm bringing up some more AA. Bring us some more Gravardi. You can tell that we're... Now everyone's just all over on top of each other here. I'm like, a lot. I'm up, a lot up here. He's a lot down here in this location. Just all over on top. Trying to get in and work at each other, and this is what we want. Like we're we're kind of trading pretty effectively, I think, in this location. Maybe I'll, maybe even, but even's okay, right? Because we we have more points. More from in firing here, going in for the uh, heavy AA gun. Gets the AA gun, revealing himself. Oh, he's going in for the war from in. There's not that much AA. We can kind of notice this now. Going for some more mortar shots coming in. Just laying down some more heat on these AA guns. Want to get these expensive flat guns. They're 80 points. 
Uh, same class as Sherman now, I guess. Uh, come on, get a direct hit. We just want a couple direct hits. Going for a bombing run here. I saw a blob here. These high altitude bombers are great because they don't they can take a beating. My S2 is shifting here. I saw two tigers here. When I, and he's moving his own IS2 to help support my IS2. We're going to invade these Tiger E's. We have plenty of flat guns now back here. We're seeing a jet bomber coming in right now. Going really smart. he got to know that there's something in here. It's from me. Another jet bomber coming in here. Dropping on the T-3045. Hey, though. Getting beat up. We're going to go for this piece next. Tries going in, but a lot of flak. I have my own flak here supporting him. And he goes down. IS2 opening up. There's IS2 also opening up. Hit the first shot. Tiger E goes down. Bring up more flak for myself. Got Panther D now. 140 points. Misses a shot. Mine's going to fire next here. But he goes out behind cover. Uh, but he needs to move this guy. <laughs> Unfortunately, we do lose an IS2 in this location. I'm firing now pretty heavily. I'm like, all right, I'm going to go for these Warfermans. He's not moving them. Got to move them after you fire, or this is going to happen. I'm laying down the fire on him now. There you go. He loses one of his Warfermans. The 140 point vehicle. And these mortars are definitely paying for themselves here. They're just laying down the heat on these Warfermans, AA guns. This AA gun's gone. This one's almost dead. T3045 coming around the corner here. Taking engagement, he shouldn't want to. He backs up. Moving up a Panther D a little closer to reverse. I bring up some infantry to support and take this flag back. Or from him getting hit, suppressed. He's trying to fire, looks like. Firing into. He thinks the IS2 is there. IS2 is already shifted off. I'm aiming a little off here, though, because I think it's here. You can see that my aim's off. But I'm firing in the general direction. Maybe I get lucky and get us, you know, one of the shots. Because that's just, you know, okay with a random shot. Sometimes you get the hit. He only needs, like, one more. There you go. He's firing again now. My IS-2 shifting back around to go look at center. Or from him firing. He didn't hit anything. He's not looking at anything. I'm seeing an off-map plane come in. Immediately gets suppressed. Got the D going down to this IS-2, my teammate. Yeah, I don't think he didn't even drop the off-map. Immediately gets suppressed. So much flak here now. I have another flak. I bring up my leader. Those jet bombers. One goes down immediately. I don't even know if they, no, they didn't get their bombs off at all. Look at all that flak coming at them. Nope. <laughs> Not happening. I fire here. This time he moves it back. So I'm going to get some no shots on him now. Got using all these infantry back here just a spot for us, which is super nice. <clears throat> We're seeing a huge push now by my teammate. He's going to open up the weak spot. They're, they've kind of thinned out the whole line. I got my IS-2 moving up here. There's not much room for him. Probably should have gotten a pack gun or something just to put right here. Plop. And now we're just like opening up the can. He's, he's just going to run down here with half track, 10 sneaky. And there really isn't anything. There's just one pack 40. What's he what's really going to do though? Another pack 40 up here, but it's like probably running out of sight, line of sight and stuff. He told me to mortar this, so I was going to do it. Oh yeah, like he's in now. That's a Niki's gonna suppress. Gonna unload the first one. Look at these guys reverse. Now they're unloading, and all these infantry goners. Whole line opens up. We're seeing a Warfarman shots come in, or Stuka shots come in. I'm reversing. Trying to get out of the way. And there we go, we're seeing a surrender. Fortunately, he does get my eyes too there. And you can see that the thing out now, our teammates pushing on along the whole front. There isn't too much up here. And yeah, that was game there. With the stats here, taking a little less casualties than my teammate, but he killed significantly more. He did really well. And you can look at the chronology for a second. More important, I think. 
we had a really good opener from our side look at this like the first page is pretty much just us killing their equipment and that's pretty much for a decent amount of time then we you know it starts switching over five minute mark and then b phase we get into that grind up in the north which is kind of to our exact position anyway thank you thank you guys my thanks for my teammate and thanks for my opponents guys i'll see you guys around leave a like leave a comment and i'll see you guys around thanks for watching